Welcome, my name is Lara Hyman. I'm a physical therapist and creator of the Lit Yoga Method. Today is called Let's Flow. We're gonna create a sequence and then do it a few times, adding some elements on to create some heat and fluidity in the body. Let's start off on your back. If you have a block, take it with you. We're gonna come into a low bridge, so you'll take the block between your thighs. Make sure the feet are not too close to you. Press the hands into the thighs to help you get your glutes going and lift the glutes up so you're in this low bridge. If you feel any pressure on your knee, walk your feet farther away. Keep the lower belly engaged. So the glutes and the belly together when we're flowing are gonna help us be stable so that we're not kind of, we want the, uh, like if you have, if you imagine something being fluid, it's easy to see the fluidity when it's in a structure. So if you have like water in a bottle or something, right, there's structure around it. If it's just splashed all over, it kind of loses that sense of fluidity. So the structure is important. Keeping the pelvis level, the glutes engaged will help with that. We'll bring the hands up in the air and start by stretching out our wrist. Take your left hand and grab your right fingers and pull back and take a big breath in here. And as you're stretching out the wrist and working the glutes, let's also begin to warm up the feet and the calves by lifting and lowering the heels. Lifting and lowering, pressing into the big toe mound so that your first toe has a larger um, toe mound on the bottom of it, bottom side. And that's what we're pressing into. So lift and lower. And this helps us warm up, prepare the muscles of the entire back of the leg. So from the foot to the calf, to the hamstring, to the glute. Let's switch hands. Right hand will grab the left wrist or left fingers and pull back. And we're lifting and lowering. Two more like that. And then we'll lower the heels and then lower all the way down. You don't need a block for this part. We'll put it aside. Bring the hands behind your head. Cup your skull. So we're gonna warm up the core muscles of the abdominals. Inhale. Exhale, come up off the shoulders. Straighten your left leg. So the knees are even, the left knee and right knee are even, and you can pull the toes back. Rebend that knee, put the foot down, and then lower. Exhale, come up. So create some stability in the abdominal core, and then moving the right leg, straightening the right knee. And bend the knee, put the foot down, inhale, and lower. Exhale and lift. Straighten the left leg. Stay like that, but roll the left thigh out just a little bit so the toes are facing out. This is called external rotation of the hip. Bring that leg back to neutral and bend the knee, put the foot down, inhale and lower. So we're flowing just by adding some more layers to the movement. Exhale and lift. The right leg will straighten, pull the toes back, roll the right thigh to the right, the toes roll that way as well, external rotation of the right hip, bring it back to neutral, put the foot down, inhale and lower. Exhale, come up, straighten the left leg, do this again, roll the thigh out. Bring it back to the neutral position, rebend the knee, put the foot down, inhale and lower. And last time, exhale and lift up. Straighten the right leg, roll the right thigh out. Bring it back to neutral, rebend and put the foot down, inhale and lower. And we'll come around onto all fours and lower your forearms to the floor. And this is coming into dolphin pose. So your forearms can be down with the palms pressing into the floor of the hands, or if that feels like it's too, uh, too much for the shoulders, you can interlace the fingers and wiggle the elbows in more. So either way, you'll have the head release but not on the floor. Lift the knees up, and then you can walk the feet in or be way up on your toes. The knees can be bent. When you're pushing your forearms into the floor, 
to get more space in the shoulders and also more integration there. So dolphin is an amazing pose for developing a lot of shoulder strength, core integration, and then it's opening, of course, lots of stuff as well. So the back of the legs, you'll feel like you're getting a wonderful stretch. Take a huge breath in and exhale it out. When you feel like you have too much happening in your shoulders, bend your knees and get your weight back more so that you're not overloading the shoulders but trying to create a balance between them. A real flow, again, is from a place of balance. There's structure and then there's fluidity. And so we want to have that even here in a more static position. Breathe. And then we'll step the feet forward to the front of the mat. Come all the way up to stand and check in with your Tadasana. We've warmed up the glutes, the abdominals, and the shoulders. We want to feel that there's a balance between the front and back body, that everything is finding more symmetry that gets our posture upright in Tadasana. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, stay long in the spine, and fold forward. Step the right foot back and hold here in a fingertip lunge. So fingertip lunge, your fingers are on the floor, you can always use a block, your right knee's off the floor, and your spine is long. Breathe into that length of the spine and hold the belly in. Two more breaths here. And then we'll plant the hands and lift the left leg up into a three-legged down dog. So lift the left leg up, keep the hands pressing into the floor and the arms engaged so that you don't continue to move your torso, but hold your torso steady. You can always check in that your ear is somewhat in line, your ears are somewhat in line with your biceps. So that left leg is lifted, and then we're going to do what we did on, in the ground. So roll the left thigh into external rotation, which is just a little bit to the left, and then bring it back to neutral. And one more time, roll it so it opens up a little bit to the left, and then bring it back to neutral. Bring the left knee to the floor under the left hip for a modified side plank. The right foot extends and the right arm can come straight up to the ceiling. And you can keep your gaze down at that left hand. Hold your abdominals in. Huge breath in here. Now take the right foot and step it forward toward the left hand. Open to your left for goddess pose. So the left foot turns out, both hips are externally rotated now, get the spine long, and reach the arms straight out. Don't force the turnout of your hip. If you feel your knees are collapsing, just turn the toes in more. And you can pulse here, small amount, keeping the chest open and the arms engaged. So pulsing up and down a few times. And then we'll hold it steady. Take this back arm, your left hand, and swing it so we step the left foot forward into Utkatasana in a little chair-like position. Chest is not flaring. We want to keep the ribs held in and sit back into the glutes. And then we'll stand all the way up with the hands down by the side in Tadasana. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, the spine stays long. We're doing the other side now. Step the left foot back for fingertip lunge. Hands could also be on a block. Spine is long. So you don't want the head dropping down, but lift from the front of the throat and breathe. You should feel your left glute engage a lot to help stabilize the pelvis. One more breath here. Hands to the floor. 
The right leg will lift into three-legged down dog and watch the core hold you steady and not let your ribs collapse. Press into the hands. Arms are strong and straight. This left, you can be way up on your left toes or even have the left knee bent. And always you can use blocks under your hands if you feel like you need that. Let's roll the right hip open a little bit. Bring it back to neutral. So that's just at the hip. Roll the right hip open and then bring it back to neutral. Take the right knee and bring it to the floor under your hip. Modified side plank. The right shoulder is over the wrist, the hips over the knee. It can be even in, in a little bit more than the knee. And the left hand comes up. Hold here, feeling the shoulder, the right shoulder, really be encased on all sides. So it's not sinking toward the, the way you're moving, but being held in place. One more breath here. Step your left foot almost in line with the right hand and then turn to your right for goddess. Where the, both feet are in external or both hips are in external rotation, the abdominals are in, the arms are out, and you can pulse here. So that light up and down, engaging the legs, feeling the energy through the abdominal wall. And check in with the head that it's in line and the chin isn't jutting. Two more pulses, and then we'll hold it. The right arm swings down to step into Utkatasana. Feet can be separated a little bit, or a lot. It's just up to you. They don't need to be together. Hold there, spine is long, and then we press, straighten. This is a bridge pose, the glutes, up to stand. We're gonna do that sequence again and add some things on to really flow, inhale, Arms reach forward and up. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Step the right foot back, fingertip lunge, firm the right glutes, spine stays long. Now take your right hand and bring it flush to the floor or with a block underneath. Turn your chest to the left and the left arm comes up. Twisted crescent, right, just like you did in modified side plank, the shoulder is not dropping in but you, it stays centered. Hold the right glute strong. Huge breath here. And left hand comes down, right into your three-legged down dog, left leg lifts. Pause there. This time, bend the left knee, open up the hip in external rotation. Bring it back to neutral. Externally rotate it. Bring it back to neutral. Step it down, the left knee to the floor. Modified side plank. Left shoulder on over the wrist. The right arm is up and you can lift your right leg. If that feels like you dip, then bring it back down. Watch the stability of the shoulder, most importantly. So if that foot needs to come down, then bring it down. If you need your hand on your abdominals to remind, the ribs to stay pulled in, do that. And this right leg is not going higher than the hip. Step the right foot forward, open to your left for goddess. Arms reach out and pulse. And then hold it steady in your goddess for a moment. Left arm, this back arm swings down to bring you into Utkatasana. And then bring the hands over the heart like you're doing a little prayer. From the center, we're twisting a little bit to the right. Left elbow lands in the center of the thigh, not across it, for a twisted prayer Utkatasana. Come back through center with your hands in prayer. Twist a little bit to the left. So you're just twisting through the ribs. The knees don't twist. Right elbow lands on the left thigh. Spine is long, even though you're rotating the ribs. And then coming all the way up, reach the arms up. And then hands down 
and pause in Tadasana. Check in with your alignment. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Left foot steps back. You're on your fingertips, get that length in your spine first. Then the left hand will stay on the floor or a block. Turn through the axis of the spine without sinking the shoulder, the right arm comes up. Twisted crescent, keep your left glute firm. You can let the neck relax, sometimes you'll get a little adjustment there. Both hands come down, right into three-legged down dog, lift your right leg, hold those arms strong, bend your right knee, open up the right hip, bring it back to neutral, keep the arms strong, one more time, open it up, and then bring it back to neutral. Bring it to the floor, modified side plank, set yourself up. Shoulder over the wrist, hip over the knee. Keep the shoulder steady and maybe lift the left leg without letting the hip dip. The left arm can also come up. Keeping the gaze down will really help the alignment as well. Chin is neutral and not jutting. Then we'll step the left foot to the front, open to the right for goddess. Hips are turned out, arms are reached out, and we'll pulse. Neck is in alignment. And then hold it steady. Right arm swings down to bring you to the front for Utkatasana. Sitting back with a long spine. Hands come into prayer. From the ribs, twist to the left, right elbow comes on the left thigh. Knee doesn't go forward, but we sit back, hold there. So it's a hip flexion, we're hinging there. Come back through center, twist an inch to the right, left elbow to the right thigh and hold there. And then coming all the way up. And come back into your Tadasana, pause. Just notice the difference just in that let's flow, right? You just flowed, but can you feel the energy percolating? Tadasana feels different. It has the structure and then the fluidity within it. So I hope you enjoyed this flow today, flow and go can really let's flow, right? It can just make you feel like you have limitless possibilities for movement because you have this structure in place. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.